Hi, I'm Alexi Lafayette from CIDI 99.1. We are here live at the Sutton Jazz Festival. It's been a month since we uh, come to uh, the Jazz Festival, and the Jazz Festival goes until September 3rd, so uh, make sure to come. It's a great festival. And today I'm with the Code Quartet. They just finished their performance. My first question for you is uh, where are you from, and how did it all start for you? I am originally from Vancouver Island, and it all started in my home. My family had a lot of music in the house. My mother was a piano teacher and an educator, and a, just played lovely musicals and things, and filled our house with joy. That's how it started. And for you, Lex? Well, I saw a, a Dixieland jazz band on the side of the street, the guy playing trumpet, and I was like, I got to do that. And then I discovered Louis Armstrong and Miles Davis. I was very young. I was probably five or six, and I didn't start playing the trumpet till I was nine. And well, then I was at high school many years later, and there was a, a jazz trumpet teacher, and so I started there pretty much. I pretty much started playing jazz when I was about 15. So. And all it all, all it all starts for you as a band, as Cold Quartet? Wow, that's a good question. Um Lex moved to Canada from New Zealand, and we met. And Jimmy and Adrian, the bass and the drummer, they live here, and I live here, and we've worked in many different little situations with music, sharing, and we all got together one day, didn't we, Lex? Yeah, well, it, it started for me because I was subbing for your sister, Ingrid, on a rehearsal. We were doing Maggie Olin's project, and uh, and I said, would you like to do a gig? And you said, yes. And then you said, we should get Adrian, who was doing the gig as well. And then we actually called another drummer first by the name of Greg Ritchie. And Greg was unavailable. And so Jimmy did the gig. And then we got on really, really well. And, and so then it kind of turned into this project. And we recorded albums and toured and gone different places. We went to New Zealand for a while. And But yeah, it started. It was all very fortuitous. It was very serendipitous and lucky, I think.
we're going to play one more for this first set, this first part. Um, again, you're listening to Adrian Vidati on the bass. Yeah. Christine Jensen on the saxophones. Lex French on the trumpet. And my name is Jim Doxis. Throughout the last year and a half, needless to say, it's been uh, different for everyone. And one of the ways that I think uh, musicians have expressed themselves, because we haven't really been able to play a heck of a lot until quite recently, is through compositions. Different, different writing, different sounds, experimenting. And this is one of Christine's very recent compositions. It's called 2020 Blues by Christine Jensen. Again, we're going to take a short break after this next tune. <laughs> and we're going to we'll be over um, near the, the the table, so please do come and say hi. Thanks.
And what is the feeling of playing in front of a crowd once again? It is, I, I don't know, it feels like something happened and then the fog cleared and now we have an audience and it's just an amazing feel feeling. This is probably my second, third concert uh, since this event of pandemic. So this is just, especially outside with this beautiful setting, is so moving. And for you, Lex? Uh, for me, uh, I think it, it's about energy. Uh, one thing that we miss when we play for a live stream or we're recording and that kind of thing is we miss the energy of the crowd. And it was something I probably didn't think about too much before the pandemic, but my very first gig back was uh, in March, maybe March 11th, and... It was incredible to feel that energy from the crowd. I, and I, I really palpably felt it. And then at the end when people stood up, I, I had kind of frisson. You know, I was just like, this is incredible to have that energy and that exchange of energy between us on stage and the audience. So that's the thing that is different for me. And it's great to have back again, you know. And is it the first time that Cold Quartet played here at the Southern Jazz Festival? Or you played here before? We have never played here before. I personally have never been to Sutton. I have not made it this far in the townships, and it is spectacular. And for you, did you came here with another band or? Yeah, I came here. I've been here a few times and played. It's kind of it was at the the Bury de Sutton, and we drank a lot of good beer and played some music. And I've done it a few times with different different ensembles, yeah, but never the Sutton Festival proper. This is the first time here, so yeah. And at the end of the day, what message or uh, yeah, what message do you want your art to share to the world? Do you want me to do it again? Okay, perfect. I'm sorry about that. At the end of the day, what message do you want your art to share to the world? We will start with you. That's a hard question, but an easy question. I think for me, it's about communicating my thoughts and my feelings and hoping to get a reaction. And for you, Lex? Yeah, maybe uh, communication is a big one and understanding, but the biggest one is stop streaming music for free and start buying it from artists and supporting artists. That would be my big message to your listeners, that, that we depend on you to, to make a living. And so if you have the opportunity to come to a concert, come to the concert. If you have the opportunity to buy a CD, buy the CD. We would really appreciate it because we love you, our audience, and we want to you know, share our music with you in a sustainable way. And where we can find your work? Uh, Code Quartet has an album out on Just In Time Records, so go there first to get the physical if you can. And we're on Bandcamp and all the streaming services that, gonna that we're not going to use, hopefully. And uh, what else do we have? We have some live video out there. And we have, I think we have a website and we have um, a few other things. Facebook, Instagram, we are there for you. Connect with us. Ask us questions. Come visit. And you will be at P Legs because I saw a lot of people buying your album. That's wonderful news. <laughs> and when your album's coming out, your next album? Uh, the next album, we're not sure. We have to record it. But but so far, as Christine said, you can go to codequartet.com and you can find everything there. You can find all our socials. You can find where to buy the album. You can find uh, where to buy it online. If you want to buy digital or physical, codequartet.com, and that has everything. And we'll keep everyone updated about when the next album is coming out, but probably next year, I would say.
I'm Alexis Lefebvre from CIDI 99.1. We are at the Sutton Jazz Festival with Kristen Jensen and Lex French from Code Quartet. So thank you very much for listening to CIDI 99.1. And uh, see you next time, guys. And don't forget to come in next week at the Sutton Jazz Festival. The Sutton Jazz Festival goes until September 3rd.